I'm Tony. And I'm Jeff. We're in gaming, and that's you. Hello gamers and welcome back to the inn. I'm Rob, of course, or Warshack if you want to call me by my in-game name, and we are picking up from where we left off with playing Rank the last time and asking a bunch of questions, which hopefully you guys have responded to. I wouldn't know because I haven't posted the video yet of last time, but hopefully you did. Uh, anyway, in this video we're going to try to knock out some more Ranked. It is almost the end of the month, so ideally let's aim for like Rank 15. You think I, I think that's pretty fair with the deck we have currently. Also, we've got some good news as we start into this Rank. Oh, 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 oh. Alright, let's see what quests we have. There's a couple other things I want to say. So, Druid or Hunter? No. Mage. <laughs> we always get what we want, boys. Feels good. Okay, so, um, I don't mean to clap and it'd be loud. Anyway, we had, we got a response. We didn't get a response. We got an email because I played in the Colgate College Hearthstone Champion Tournament uh, last year, and they actually just sent me an email and said, you received three, three free packs for making it into the uh, seventh week. Because uh, we did ended up making it, we made it into like the top 32 teams in the uh, region of uh, college, uh, Hearthstone players. Anyway, I don't know if you guys would feel comfortable with me using the free packs that I got from the tournament on this. Because I'm not actually spending money on these packs. They're free packs I got through playing Hearthstone. So technically they are free packs. So if you want me to use them just to get three more packs on this account, um, I would like to do that. But again, I don't want to... Um, just randomly start adding packs on this account that you guys may not want me to because it is free to play but those packs technically were free because i did earn them and i didn't pay for them i just played in a tournament and i won them so um yeah so i want to know what you guys feel about that because i just again i just don't want to add packs on this account without you guys uh clarifying it with you first is it okay mom is it okay <laughs> so anyway uh coin anoyotron double shredder so it looks like we've got the turn two anoyotron turn three shredder turn four shredder um spider tank is a great Ooh. we've got like this is an amazing start this is absolutely fantastic all right, uh, we also had a question in the chat, boys. Question in the chat. Is Major 800 still in the meta? Um, it's a decent deck. It's just not played a lot. It's a decent deck. No doubt. Just not as popular, popular as some others. Okay, so because he didn't play anything... We would have played a Noyotron anyway. <laughs> and kill the totem. I think we would have killed pretty much any totem that he brought out. And then turn four shredder, or turn three shredder, turn four shredder, and then turn five spider tank Noyotron. Like, this is just fantastic. This is a grade A tier one mech deck right here. Just kidding. Oh, by the way, oh, we need to add. Um, should we wait to craft Archmage? Like, I don't think we should craft legendaries. They just cost too much. Like, we can craft epics. And it just feels so much better. But legendaries are so good. <sighs> Alright, we're going to craft Dr. Boom first. So we're going to aim to build the core core decks. So we'll do Face Hunter first. Not first, but we'll do play the Smack Mage. <laughs> Poor guy. He has no idea. He just got beat by a free-to-play. Rank 18, baby! Woo! That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. So let's play four more games, and also, guys, good news. Don't tell anyone, though. Um, I met this this individual uh, at my college the other day. She's in my class. Did I already say she's uh, it's somebody? Even though I already told you kind of who it was. And then she's supposed to be coming over tonight to um, not Netflix and chill, because I didn't say that, but that's going to lean towards it. Um, so wish me luck, and if all of a sudden stuff starts vibrating or you're hearing sounds, that's my phone going off, and I actually am... It's pretty ratchet, my setup. <laughs> I have a lamp as my uh, green screen illumination on this side, and I actually use my cell phone light uh, next to a shoe leaned up against it for light on this side because the green screen actually has to be lit for me to uh, green uh, chroma key it out. So I've got some ratchet ass setup. So I actually use my phone as a light. So if things start vibrating, the green screen green screen starts going uh, not so worky mode, I'm going to end the video uh, there. But ideally, we should be able to knock out at least like three games, I think. Uh, so if this one is only like, you know, 20-ish minutes, uh, don't get too depressed. It's because uh, that's the reason why. I heard that guy. Hey, look out. So I'm going to see Noyotron. Look at this. Look at the curve. This is prime time to be playing Mech Mage, guys. Noyotron, Spider Tank, Shredder, 
uh, plays anything. We frostbolt it, refill hand on five. This is just so fantastic. Who needs tier one mech decks? This is the free to play tier one mech deck. Da, 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 da. Ooh. I think this is actually better because it has more health. It has more attack, and by more health I lied, it just has more attack. And we also got a spare part, which helps us later on. If we were playing maybe a paladin, and he was blowing out his hand, getting the spare part may probably not be the best idea, because he could divine favor to refill his hand. Um, so maybe against a paladin, a spider tank may have actually been the better play, but in this situation, I think it's fine. So I think we're going to be frost bolting the shredder, because uh, we're going to. Or we could actually just play our shredder. Or we could play Mech Warper Spider Tank. And it may it forces him to develop his weapon. Hmm. We could Mech Warper Frost Bolt. Okay. I think killing it's important. So we'll Frost Bolt. Um, ideally our tanker tech tech technician. Tech 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 tech. So we'll kill it. We'll throw it on the mech warper. So now we'll be able to play our, both these guys next turn. Yep, five mana. We're pushing into five mana. So it actually worked out really, really nice. As long as he doesn't kill the Mech Warper. If he still kills the Mech Warper, then we probably just Shredder. Um, ooh, he's gonna be upset. Alright, so we're gonna... Okay. So we're gonna actually put this... Let's, where we put the Spider Tank doesn't really matter. Um... We're also lagging just a little bit, guys, because I am rendering. So if you do see a little lag on the screen, that's my bad. So do we swing the technician to the 5-4? Uh, I think we do. All right, this lag is getting a little ridiculous. And then we're going to play the shredder probably next to these two, because if he ends up killing the shredder, we want it to buff the other two cards. Why is it lagging? And it didn't do this earlier. We're going to actually we're gonna change a few things um, so it doesn't show uh, this delay in the attacking. So let's check out the render here real quick. So we're at 80, 68% of the render. Uh, well, I'll just cancel it. I'll be able to render when I sleep. And the lag should have uh, been subsided. Looks pretty good. Yep. Oh, Defender of Argus. I forgot he was in, even in this deck. So this is actually pretty nice. Um, so we could take our Anoyotron out of passive range, which I think is a pretty good deal. So we're going to kill the Shredder. Our, um, or kill his Belcher with our Shredder. Uh, then we can actually... Uh, we want to save the ping for face. Nothing here hits that. So if you Fana, he passes... Six mana, we know he's playing oil. Fana knives would kill this and this if we were to bring our Neutron down to one. So we want to keep our Neutron at two. I suppose we'll swing into this because this has more health. And more we need to start pushing a little bit of damage onto him. He's uh, It's been pretty late in the game. We have a decent field and we need to start, you know, pushing the damage. So our Shredder's going to die this turn. Uh, hopefully it grants us something decent, not a Doomsayer. Uh, Spider Tank is probably going to live and so is the Mech Warper. But I have a feeling that Anoyotron and Shredder are possibly going to die this turn. Or he can just develop the field. We Arcane Intellect or we Flame Strike. So he's actually looking to develop the shield. Our Shredder dies, he takes 5 to the face, we've got 6, 7, 8, 9 damage, passive 10, 4, so we need 2 damage, we Arcane Intellect into a Frostbolt, oh, this actually might be lethal right here, Fireball, either way, I had, I had the feeling that that was going to be the card we were going to draw, Hacks, Hacksaw, Hacksaw, we didn't even need to draw that, we, everything on our field was lethal, how are we doing so well with this deck, we've played from like rank 21 to now 18 with what, no losses, 1 loss? It's insane. It's insane. We'll be 15 in no time at this rate, at this pace. We're almost at again 700 gold. 600 gold is kind of what are where, wow where I want to sit for arena. So the second we pass over 700 gold, we'll just end up buying more packs. And also, I want to know what you guys think about the three packs I won from the tournament and use them on this account. Because it's the same thing as like, let's say, unlocking a pack with an Android phone because they have that promotion going on and stuff like that. So I don't really see why we shouldn't, but if you guys don't want it, again, I won't I won't do it. We do not have coins, so I think Technician is not a good uh, kind of shindig here. Uh, actually, Technician would have been better um, if I would have known we would have got a two drop. But look at this, one, two, three, and then the Arcane Intellect. Like, not too great, but it's still a card nonetheless. Still a card, of course they're cards. You get cards every turn. 
So we're playing against a warlock. I'm gonna assume he's playing zoo. Rank 18. You look like a zoo player. You look like a zoo player. Oh, rank 15 rewards. I don't even know what you get at the end of the month for a chest at rank 18. Or I mean 15. Let's look at the rewards. Let me look this up. So, um, end of the month rewards for stone. Let's see if we can look into a little bracket. Let's see what it breaks into. Wow. Really? The season restarts every month? That's the information? Okay, so this is what we have. Rank 20 is one gold, golden common card, and five dust. So it actually works every rank is a new thing. I thought it put it into categories. So like rank 1 to 5 would get the same thing. Um, rank 10 to 14. But it actually ranks it differently than that, which is quite interesting. So do we play a Noyotron? Or do we just ping and kill this and then spider tank? I think we just kill... I think we just kill this. All right, so at rank 15, we get one golden common card, one golden rare card, and five dust. Um, the next best thing would be rank 10, where it gives two golden common cards and one gold rare card. Uh, the difference between rank 11 and rank 15 is 20 dust, which I don't think we're going to hit rank 10 this season. Um, and then on my main account, we had planned to hit rank 5, which is two golden common cards, one golden epic card. I think spider tank is the play here because then we could develop the technician next turn if not we annoy otron flame cannon technician on uh five and then ping for one all right legendary is three golden common cards and one golden epic so the difference between rank one and legendary in the chest rewards is one golden common card <laughs> wow so you get an extra one golden common instead of 25 dust, which a golden common is 400 dust. So the difference is 375 dust. But then you also don't get to pick which golden common you get. Look at this guy making all sorts of plays and shit with that dark cultist. Good for you. All right, so turn four has got us like, yo, what the fuck, mate? Uh, because we really don't have a great play. Uh, flame canning a 2-2 two -two that he already generated a card off of puts us down too many cards. Playing an Anoyotron doesn't particularly kill the 2-2. Two -two. Playing the Technician off curve isn't great. So I think we're just going to... Um, fudge. This is hard. I do not think... An we're going to do this so... It just I know this is not the right play, but this is a situation in which we need field control almost immediately, so ideally we can draw into a two drop next turn. Uh, if not, we can technician and ping. Oh, man. He's gonna have so many more cards than me. He's a, not only is he a warlock, but he keeps playing cards that generate him more cards. Ooh, that's really good for us. So we're actually gonna buff this up. And I do not think we attack the spider. I think we're going to go face in this situation. This is the first time we've played Clockwork Knight, period. I think I'm a, I, mean, I think I'm really going to run another one because we don't have Lothab. So we're going to have to find... <laughs> he just played Lothab. We're going to have to find something else to use instead of that. Uh, technician in this situation is going to be ideal. We're going to use our passive kill off his 3-1. And then we're going to use our 5-5 to kill off his Lothab. Because if not, he's just going to kill our Anoyotron. And then from there, we're going to have to sack and do it anyway, unless we draw a Frostbolt, which is then still wasting two cards to his one in this situation. Our card, he got value, and he didn't really get too much value out of his um, uh, Lothip. So I think Arcane Intellect is our best friend here. Ooh, this is going to be kind of hard. I wish we could play Shredder and Fireball, but we can't. I'm actually... This is unfavorable right now. I guess it'll work. No. Because if we ping the Shredder in this, this is still creates a 1-2. And then this is going to be at 1 health. But he has to attack the Noyotron anyway. So I guess this is fine. And then we kill the 1-2. 
And I guess we could have reversing switch this, so it's a it's a one four because I have a feeling he's gonna mortal coil it. Um, but we'll see. So Mukla passive. This has two attacks, so it kills our Noyotron. It has two in general. From there, we're probably we're gonna kill Mukla, no doubt. Um, next turn with our four one. Actually, we're gonna. Hmm. He has two. Um. I'm gonna kill it off with Shredder in this situation, which may not have been that smart. Because we could have probably drawn first and see what we get. Mech Warp or Spider Tank seems pretty good. And then next turn we're going to... Actually, we should have put these uh, Spider Tank and uh, the Shredder together. That's my bad. Because then we're going to Argus them next turn. We're probably going to Argus Intellect Intellect first to see what we get to make sure Argus is the play. But I'm almost fairly, I'm 100% sure Argus will be the play. We're going to actually swing our Mech Warper into the, uh, oh wow, he's playing a bunch of shit. Wow, alright, Flame Strike is our best friend here. No Flame Strike. Okay. We actually have Fireball and Frostbolt. So if we go face, this is 7, 8, 9. That puts him at 15. I don't think so. It's pretty good. Let's see what we draw. It's pretty good as well. Unfortunately, we I wish we had seven mana because then we could play these two together, but we can't. So kind of sucks a little bit there. Um, Argus seems pretty good. Kill off his 1-1. One, one. And we'll just swing face for this. Put a little bit of damage on him. We've got double fireball frostbolt, which is 15 damage, which means it one of our creature needs to live next turn. And he also needs to not play a taunt and or heal. But I have a feeling he's gonna passive here. Um Actually he may not passive. As long as he doesn't give him taunt, we're good. We Alright, so it looks like we win next turn. Because he's gonna kill off the mech warper with his yeah, there's no way for him to... The max he's going to kill is two creatures. The max he's going to kill is one creature. <laughs> so that did be game. There's Flame Strike that we were looking for last turn. But not a big deal. Worked out pretty well. Double Arcane Intellect definitely helps. So I may look back in this deck and see what we replace for that Clockwork Knight. I don't really replace Huffer just because, and Huffer, but uh, Hogger just because that's kind of like our uh, our first legendary and we have to play it in our deck. But not having a lot of five drops, like only one five drop in the deck, is not a lot. Like it just seems like so weak. I guess we can maybe get rid of a flame cannon, to be honest. Two flame cannons is a lot. It also doesn't help us. Um, I already created one. There we go. How much is a du how much dust does it cost to craft an epic? Not that I'm gonna craft any particular epic right now. I just want to know. Where's an epic? Four hundred. Okay. So we're at three hundred. We're really, not, we're really not that far off. <clears throat> Alright. Has she... The person texted me? Uh-oh. We got a text. Okay. No worries. Alright, um, we went over all this. Gotta grind to rank 5. The difference between rank 5 and 6 is... They won golden rare to one golden epic. So getting... getting if you're at rank 6, getting to rank 5 gives you a lot better rewards. Because... A golden epic is worth, you know, how much does that cost? A golden epic is 1,600 dust. It's the same as a legendary. As a golden rare uh, only costs, I believe, 800. So you're actually getting double the value in there for just one rank. Um, I think this is fine because one, turn one, Cogmaster. Uh, turn two, he plays Sorcerer's Apprentice. We Flame Cannon. Turn three, he pings the Cogmaster. Turn three, we Spider Tank. Seems pretty good. Oh man, having Frostbolt and Flame Cannon kind of slows us down. I'm glad we got rid of one Flame Cannon though. Uh, ideally, we want to change the Flame Cannons out for like maybe unstable portals. Put some RNG in this deck. <laughs> oh, what would you like? Oh, can I get a uh, three RNG percentages, please? Can I get like three RNGs over here? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. 
can actually coin Spider Tank turn two if he doesn't play anything that's worthy of Frostbolt Flame Cannon. Or we can actually just bluff, buff the Cogmaster. So when we play the Spider Tank, make a trade there, draw into her three drop, and no, but that puts us in a bad situation. Um, so we can kill the River Croc. Ooh, this is this is hard. This is hard. I think we Mech Warper swing into Spider Tank because now next turn if he plays um, a creature we can Flame Cannon coin Spider Tank and this that's what I was scared of was killing off a creature with the Cog and then um, wasting the coin or uh, coining into Spider Tank. Okay, this is fine. Um, so what we were scared of is not was having one mana left over with the previous play, but this actually works out really good because we're able to uh, utilize all our mana using the coin to generate as most creatures as possible and still do damage to the face. So this works out fantastic. Oh boy, oh boy. Double Fireball Frost. I mean, not double Fireball Frostbolt, but Fro Frostbolt Fireball allows us to pretty much do 10 damage on turn 6, uh, which means if we can pump in 20 damage in the next 3 turns, or 2 turns, I should say, which is a lot, but really not that much when we already have put in 2, 5 on field, putting pushing 1 more out next turn. Uh, if you play Shredder here, I guess that's pretty bad, because then we'll always fire up our Frostbolt on it. Water Elemental is a card that is pretty powerful. We're going to waste Fireball on that, no doubt. Um, that thing will just keep pinging off my creatures, so. So next turn is Technician, Frostbolt. Following turn is either Technician, Ping, or Technician, 3-drop, Technician, 2-drop. Maybe a Clockwork Knight, we'll draw into it, we'll use it on our Mech Warper, bring it out of Frostbolt range, make sure he has to use his ping to kill it. I think we're in a good position here. I think this may also be my last game. Uh, it's only been, what, 18 minutes, so we might play two more, it all depends. Frostbolt the Mech Warper, this is what I was scared of, and that's why I wanted to draw Clockwork Knight, so we draw him. Oh, why couldn't he live one turn longer? Ripperonis, Boydoonis. Then we called that out. We totally called that out. I'm glad I put another knight in here, though. He's a 5-5 five, five for 5, gives a 1-1. One, one. So it's a 6-6 six, six for basically a 5, if you have a mech, which we should. So, so I think we swing the five five in there. Generate two technicians. Um, he's gonna be playing flame strike though. This is bad. So I think we might actually play around flame strike here. We'll swing the spider tank into this, ping it for one, swing for five, force him to ping next turn, which gives him five mana, and we'll uh, develop a technician. So that's actually nine damage, and this will pump out the thirteen, which utilizes. Uh, puts him at 15, so we actually put him at 2 damage off the next following 2 turns off lethal. By then we'll generate more creatures, and he won't even be able to develop anything too big next turn. And Flame Strike actually won't really give him anything great. Um, I think the Technician is actually a little bit better here, because it doesn't die to Frostbolt. Um, no, no it's not. No, it is not. No! I meant to ping, I meant to ping, I meant to ping, I meant to ping, clicking too fast, I meant to ping, I don't think that'll cost us the game even though that was a huge mistake, like cause right now the whole point was to get out of flame strike range but all that did was put us in flame strike range cause I'm a retard and click the wrong thing, thank god he didn't have flame strike to punish us, I'm a retard, god dang it guys, rip, 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 So we want to play around Flame Strike, which is gonna. All right. Not play around Flame Strike, but he was gonna ping this. Makes it so he can only play a six drop. God dang it, guys! He'd be at 15 health right now. Actually, he'd be at way lower than that because we would have hit for five instead of pinging for one. Um, she's offering to bring me Chipotle. That's pretty good. I think I'm gonna respond to that. So don't mind the green screen. I know it's going to mess up here, but I have to respond quickly because we all know if you don't respond fast, like, oh, I assumed you didn't want any Chipotle. Free Chipotle, hell yeah. Ooh, Hogger. <sighs> We're going to play Hogger. Just because I like him. We haven't got a lot of use out of him. Plus, it's like, yo, I just died to a Hogger. <laughs> Sorry guys, this is important. Food is important.
There's the flame strike. Arcane Intellect is going to be the card here, and I am done. We've made our point. I'm going to put that back right here. Got that light on. Light on when I'm gone. Um, doesn't really matter what we play. So developing two threes here to go into the Frostbolt ping at for 10. Um, it's fine. Or just the Pyroblast is fine, too. <laughs> Not much you can do when your boy's got a Pyroblast on deck. It's a big old fireball. Here comes my fireball. <clears throat> I think we just pyroblast face, kill off these two, and then next turn we frostbolt ping. All right, we just ping. Don't you have frostbolt ping? Or right, we can just develop the board and troll a little bit. Fuck it, let's develop the board. I don't really care. He could have a heal. Who knows? Just play it safe. We already made one mistake this game. There's no reason to make another. So he swings his watermelon tool. Water. I don't even know what the fuck I just said. Water elemental into the 5-5s. Five he swings his harvest golem into a 3-3. Three three, pings it for 1. Polymorphs the 5-4. That leaves a 3-3 three three still on the board. Nope. There'll be nothing left on the board. So there's the ping onto the 3-2, like we said, Harvest Golem into the 3-2, the Water Elemental into the 3-3, and the 1-1 uh, Sheep is going to allow us to win the game. Didn't see that coming. <laughs> I don't think I've lost to a Pyroblast in a long, long time. A long, long time. Alright, let's play one more game. We almost got to rank 15 in what four games it's pretty good yeah so one more one more game will put us at over uh, 700 gold and then we'll buy a uh, we'll buy a GVG pack we'll buy a GVG pack because we still need powder sky golems we still need dr. boom um, what else comes out of GVG a bunch of other stuff actually I don't know we still need a lot of normal cards. We have a 1, 2, coin into 4. I like it. I like it a lot. Yes, sir. Mech Mage, where'd you get that idea? Hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> Bud get. Bud get. Ooh, zoo. Zoo as zoo can be. Do we coin out the Cogmaster? We do have a turn three play here. So... Pointing out the Cogmaster gets us another card on the board. It makes our Mana Worm a little bit more powerful, um, but it prevents us from Shreddering. So I think we go this plan just because I think sure I, I value Shredder more than a 3-2 uh, that requires an Oyotron to stay alive along with um, the fact that Shredder continuously stays on the field due to the Death Rattle he gives. Uh, we also don't have a decent 3-drop to follow it up besides the Arcane Intellect, and the Arcane Intellect is good, just not, you know, early on in the game when uh, we're going against a guy who's obviously going to want to fill the field up as fast as he can as well. Wow, there's the 3-drop. Fuck my life. <laughs> uh, okay, so coining into the Shredder allows our Mana Worm to make a trade with his Flame Imp, uh, which I think is pretty good in this situation. Um... I think even playing... So this is a trade that we're going to make here. Uh, but we could play these two together and develop the board a little bit more. Um, he's going to have to... So I think this is a little bit better. Because the spider tank is pretty much... It's sticky just like a shredder. And this allows us to get this one drop out of our hand. Um, I think I like that play a little bit more. Adds another creature on the board. So uh, the Annoyotron going to die. Wow, that's really nice. Fudge, man. It could have hit any card on the board. 
and it had to knock off the divine shield. Because now our Cogmaster is going to die, and we don't have a good way to get rid of Knife Juggler. Rip Field. Alright, so we're looking for a Flame Strike this game, without a doubt. Flame Strike will be the reason we win. So he swings his Divine. I don't think we're going to win this game. But uh, just because we drew Pyroblast and Polymorph, having double Polymorph and a Pyroblast against another Zoo deck that has a decent opener like this, along with running Mortal Coil, it's going to be a hard win. But Flame Strike will do it. If we can live long enough to frame Flame Strike, that is. The Arcane Intellect will help us. Unfortunately, it's Arcane Intellect ping. Or develop board ping. Develop board ping. The reason we didn't kill off our uh, shredder uh, prior is because if we, this guy wouldn't get the wouldn't get the ability he would normally got. So he's gonna swing the abusive sergeant into the three two, and he's gonna kill off the void walker and the divine shield to summon a demon from his hand, which is most likely doom guard, which we're going to polymorph next turn. It's him playing the void walker, power overwhelming the. 6-5 to kill the 4-4? Four, four? What the fuck? Okay, so there's a Doom Guard, which we knew. Oh, power Overwhelming, so it wouldn't get discarded. Not that it would have got discarded anyway, so I'm not really sure why he Power Overwhelming there. I have no idea. Don't have another 2-drop. Oh, boy. We needed to win this game. But I can't really complain. We've won a lot of games so far. Can't really complain. So Arcane Intellect next turn. We've got four mana left over. Draw two two drops. Or two drop and a Frostbolt. Egg is not that crazy. But his passive is crazy though. Like it doesn't really matter how many cards he uses every turn. The ability to draw an extra card after not really taking much damage. It's going to be a hard, hard comeback. Unless we draw like... No, not even. Wow, he's pushing damage as much as he can. He wants that 4-4 four, four to come out of there. So we're just going to Frostbolt that. He wasted power overwhelming though. Completely wasted it. I was fucking retarded of him. Like that was really dumb. Alright, so we're gonna arcane intellect without a doubt. Alright, so Cogmaster, Anoyotron. Oh no, we don't have enough fucking mana now to frostbolt this. I'm not playing very smart guys. For some reason I thought this cost one. They both cost one when I had four. That was dumb. My bad. I would have just played a no- oh god, Dr. Boom. <laughs> we would have lost anyway. Oh god. So we need to draw... Flame Strike? Yeah, Flame Strike wouldn't even matter. Because Flame Strike's four. What the fuck is this guy doing? They just... I hate losing to this. There's Flame Strike, but this still doesn't necessarily do it for us. Um... I'm gonna use this and not swing into the shredder because if we uh, flame strike into the or we attack into this first, the bombs don't have a chance to hit this, so we're just gonna flame strike. Ideally, the bombs hit the one one. <laughs> the bombs could not do a combined damage of what we were at eleven. And we needed to stay alive by one, so it couldn't do four. So it was like a 50-50 that it hit my creature. It didn't. 50-50 didn't hit my creature, which is 25%. And then it needed to do one to... It was just... That was like... Less than a 15% chance that it would hit me. Like that. Anyway. Consume it all! So if we would have frost bolted the... Spider... It wouldn't have mattered. Because of Dr. Boom. See, even with a misplay like that, it didn't particularly matter. Alrighty. Um, so we just need to win this game. And then we'll be at our pack opening. So we'll open one pack. I can't. I haven't decided whether it's going to be GBG um, and or a classic pack. But I think we can open it up. That guy's deck was pretty crazy, though. Dr. Boom really did not help. So, going first does not really help us whatsoever, so I'm going to keep the Mana Worm, get rid of the other two, because we can't really coin into anything. Hogger Intellect, wow, ouchie boo-boos. Alright, Mech Mage, so now normally I would change in, um, I think, I think Cogmaster is better here. 
because we can draw into a mech and then he gets bu buffed and for mana worm we don't have any buffs until turn three which is not enough um, and also if he has uh, war axe I'd rather cogmaster die yep rip cogmaster Rip to the Kolg Master, rip to the Kolg Master. Um, so, we Man Worm, it just dies. Um, but if we don't play anything, he saves the charge anyway. So, rip Man Worm. Can't do anything when Warriors get that War Axe so early on without an Anoyotron, which we didn't draw. Hey, look, speaking of Anoyotron, looks like he's running some uh, Mech Wardia. Ugh. Alright, Arcane. Wow, it's pretty bad. Hogger's pretty good against him though, because of the taunt. He doesn't really have any direct damage spells like Frostbolt and Ping and shit like that. But it's still not looking good for us. Flame Strike's nice. We could go for the Frostbolt Ping. Alright, we could develop the three. I think developing this th three is it's not good, but it's better than doing nothing what the hell that's awkward face is place um I'll knight it oh no it's not a mech fuck I won't knight it rip <laughs> Oh man, that's why that's that's why Lothab is better than the Clockwork Knight, because the Lothab does not require you to have to have a mech, and it stops them from being able to cast spells that normally will kill the Lothab the following turn. So most of the time, if, if it'll go for a one for one, it delays them from being able to kill it. So Death's Bite into Face. All right, so one turn on Flame Strike. We have to keep in mind though when he attacks this is going to take the one damage so it's almost better to um, kill it with that. Um, could actually play Hogger here. So what, we play Hogger, it makes the 2-2 with Taunt. Makes him have to deal with the field, but it's not really that effective. Um, we Frostbolt this. Draw two more, kind of refill our hand. Cogmaster, so if he doesn't clear board, it just puts us at an advantage. Uh, the Hogger is going to come in useful. I'll probably play that on turn eight so I can ping with him. Uh, next turn's probably looking like a Flame Strike turn, so we'll swing into the Harvest Golem, pop whatever comes out of it, and uh, we'll Flame Strike from there. So he's executing the big guy. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to pop the Harvest Golem, uh, but it's not too bad because our Cogmaster should be able to do so. So we're going to pop it, and we're going to kill that, and then next turn is Hogger Ping, and then the following turn is probably Flame Strike Ping and or Mech Warper and other cards. Emperor Tharzin, fuck. So it looks like next turn is going to be a Fireball, oh we can actually Polymorph, actually might be a tidbit better. I, don't, I doubt there's going to be any good polymorph targets in his deck. Hogger will be good. If I can play him and he doesn't die for two turns, Hogger will be really well. It'll, it'll be what we need to win against this warrior. If Hogger with a 4-5, come on, man. Alright, I need my Anoyotron to live. Are you fucking kidding me? Come on, dude. Fun in the sun. Fun in the fucking sun. This is actually pretty good for us, though. <clears throat> Hogger may go crazy here. Hogger has the potential to win us the game because he can't get through it. Every turn, he's going to make that 2 2. As long as he doesn't have another Brawl, he doesn't have a Shield Slam, I think we're good. We also need to draw. We don't have any taunts, so we need to draw the second Anoyotron for safety. We have no heals. It's going to be interesting. Let's see what we can do. 
That's going to be pretty annoying to get through. So ping the 2-1 next turn, swing the 3-3 three, three, and the 6-3. Hopefully draw a creature. Shredder? No, Yatron's good. Him getting 4 armor every turn, though, that's going to be so hard to get. Like, 2 armor every turn's not bad, because then we just keep swinging and we still do 2 damage over time. But in this situation, we have to do at least 4 damage every single turn. Um, or it's just bad news. Oh, well, we lose. If that, we draw into that. 13 cards left. Fucking A, dude. What is this shenanigans right now, guys? This is so bad. You know I'm going to draw the mine really soon, too. You know I'm going to draw that mine. You know I'm drawing it. Like, the turn before we have lethal, I'm drawing the mine, and then I'm going get to get, get log out. All right, shenanigans is happening. We've got the call from you-know-who, which means I've got to leave very, very soon. Which means, chill out. Oh no, oh no. I'm gonna say, give me a second, dressing myself. Not give me a sex, give me a sec. Fucking iPhone already knows what I'm... iPhone? Oh god. Why would he hit face with that? If I draw the mine, I'm dead no matter what. Don't draw the mine, don't draw the mine, don't draw the mine. Yes. Go, 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 go. How much damage can we push next turn? So we have four, five, nine, ten, eleven, fifteen, seventeen. So we need two turns to victory, boys two turns until victory happens but we're gonna draw the mine we're gonna draw the fucking mine we can't even play this shredder our field is full come on we need to live one more turn one more turn one more turn let's go let's go let's go let's go 11 cards mine percentage like 8.5 9 percent somewhere in there that taunt may delay us. That that taunt may have just delayed us. Okay. So two two. Oh, it can't be. One. Swing. 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 Nice. How fucking mad. I told you Hogger would put in work. I told you Hogger would be the reason we win this game if it can live. Called that shit out real quick. Real quick. Well, real quick. All right, so I'm actually... Do we have time to open this pack? You know what? I'm going to wait. I'm going to buy the pack. Right here. Boom. We're opening it next time. I'm going to let you guys sit on it. <laughs> With that said, thank you for stopping by the end, guys. Of course, I'm Warshack, and happy whatever the hell day it is.